if you follow me, you do know that I provide sardonic social commentary and have no problem releasing my opinion on controversial subjects, but I am not really a doxer because there are already other people on this app that do that better than I could. Clarification, not doxing, revealing, exposing. I do not stand for putting somebody's personal uh, contact information out there on social media. That is wrong. I'm sure a number of you are familiar with Jesse Maiolo, the member of the U.S. Women's Paintball League, who released this video. Your kid does not need a COVID shot. Your kid needs a fucking treadmill. That's what he needs. It got a lot of attention and uproar, and I don't care what your vaccine opinion is, I think we can all agree that children are off limits. But I did leave my thoughts on the Women's Paintball League's Facebook page and her personal fan page that basically said, hey, now that you've ruined your paintball career, what's next for you? And before she started taking down all of her social media, as far as I could tell, I was the only person that she chose to respond to. And I'll show you her response after I show you what she did next. So I get to rehearsal last night and in my Instagram is a two part lengthy apology. Why she chose to send it to me who didn't even make a video about her instead of the major content creators that did, I don't know. I'm just bringing her apology apology forward before she has an attempt to fine tune it in an attempt to save her ass from being expelled from the team. Teammates are pressuring her to quit and before she loses any more endorsement deals. Mind you, I am not doxing her. I am just revealing uh, her apology that she left for me and then let you know what she thought two hours before she left me this voicemail Hi, Jason. This is Jesse. I saw your post. I appreciate the post um, and I want to extend my other apology to You and others that were not happy with my post pause You do not owe me or anybody on TikTok an apology But you owe an apology to a 14 year old in an ICU bed and their parents. It was kind of taken out of context. I do not know how to work TikTok. Don't do the dances. I don't know how this stuff works. The rest of my video actually got cut off. I did not include it in there and I noticed it and I was like, screw it. I uploaded it. Pause. You don't know how to work TikTok? That's sus, sis. You didn't seem to have any problem working TikTok when you had any of your transphobic or anti-Biden videos up. You seem pretty adept at TikTok, man. Poor choice of words. I will say um, what I was meaning to get at was the fact that obesity is a huge problem in America more than the COVID vaccine and COVID combined. Pause. While I agree that childhood obesity is a scourge and a health crisis, it is nothing right now compared to COVID. It just happens that health and fitness are a humongous part of my life and to see young people suffer like that and it could have been 100 percent preventable pause so you care about the health of children but you fat shame them on social media when they are on the brink of death sure jan i've lost five people to this disease you are basically comparing shitty apples to shitty more pressing oranges like a shot's not going to make you not get COVID. i think we all know that um we have someone on our team now who is very sick from the shot. Pause. It's widely known that you can get a little sick from the vaccine. That's true with any vaccine. I get a little sick off of any flu shot that I get, but flu is much better than getting pneumonia. Where's your science degree? Where did you go to college that you can make all these informed opinions? So every single person is different, but I definitely think health and fitness should be taken seriously, especially for people's children, because to let your children be unhealthy is not good either. Pause. You have no idea why this child is overweight. There are a myriad of reasons beyond being overeating and not doing any exercise, but I don't expect a tiny little person to understand that. And here was her response two hours before she left this voicemail to my Facebook comment asking what she's going to do now that she's ruined her paintball career. Like I do apologize for that. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks, Jason. Have a good day. Nobody cares. How very Melania of you. Look, Jesse, don't apologize to me. I'm a nobody. I'm not laying in an ICU bed struggling to breathe. And that's because I got vaccinated. I don't think you're a good person. And I don't think you deserve to represent this country in any way.